tell me more about this Thomas guy. Well, he's worked for me for five years, never missed a day. He's never even been late. He wants this promotion more than the next five guys in line combined. No, I mean, what is he like as a person? Who is he? I mean, you gotta know the guy outside of work if you're offering him this position. I'm telling you, the man is a working machine. Wait till you meet him. You see what I mean? Thomas, good hey, to man. see you. Good to see you as well, man. This is my girl, Ganetsi. Pleasure to meet you. Hi. Come on in. My goodness. I know you had a good taste, man, but damn. <laughs> Thanks, man. Nice to have you here. Come on in. Make yourselves at home. Thank you. Nice spot. Yes, nice. Yeah, it's nice. Can I get you both a glass of wine? Oh, yeah, that would be great. Yeah, thank you. Oh, where's the restroom? Uh, right down the hall here. Tiffany, and then I'll be right in about 15 minutes. So Nancy, how did you and Thomas meet? Well, it's kind of a funny story, really. No, look, we just met online like everybody else does nowadays. Right, babe? Thomas, let me tell the story. It's so sweet. Yes, please, tell us. One day I went to the library, and I decided to do my reading outside. And I went to my favorite tree, and I looked over, and there he was, just sitting there. So I went over to him, and we talked, and then I asked him out. Wait, you asked him out? Yes, yeah, she, she did. She, she did. <laughs> Tom, wow. How is it possible that this beautiful lady beat you to the punch before you could ask her? Out? <laughs> Look, guys, it is a, a long story. You don't want to hear that. It will bore you. Okay, just hear about that. Okay. Well, he had his heart broken. Um, his last girlfriend left him kind of suddenly. Sorry. And we started out as friends, and then we started talking late at night, and eventually he came around. Hmm. That's really touching. Look, um, that's, that's enough about me, okay? This meal is delicious. Yeah. This is good. You hear that? What could that possibly be at this hour? Find out for us. Can I help you? Oh uh, yes. I was wondering if you were interested in donating to the Bebe Cage College Fund. Hmm, let me see. Oh, would you look at that? No cash. Unfortunate. Well, would you be interested in any herbal pleasure? <sighs> One second. Turns out I do have a little. Okay. All right, man. Thank you. No problem. Why don't we all retire to the patio for one last glass of wine before we call it a night? Hmm? Sounds, good. Sounds great. Nancy, I got something to show you. Really? I can't wait. I understand you're working on a book about trees? I am, actually. Come check out this Alberta peach. I planted it myself last week. Okay. So you're going by your middle name now, huh? Yeah, you know I like to change up a little bit. You know I like to <laughs> I had no idea that my husband was talking about you. Wait, so your husband be talking about me? Yes, constantly. <laughs> He's impressed wow. by your skills and your work ethic. Oh, man, that's so good to hear, man. Um, so what do we do about the elephant in the room? I mean, do we tell him about our history? I mean, I really don't want to lie to the guy. I mean, he's really- Aren't you precious? Babe! history. I mean, I really don't want to lie to the guy. I mean, he's really- Aren't you precious? Babe, Nathaniel Thomas, you've been working on this story long enough. It's time to come to dinner. Yes, ma'am. One second.
Let go. Let go. Uh, let go. Uh. Life's a virtue. Don't let life hurt you. Yeah, these haters cursed you.